Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to episode of our Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. Hope that you guys are having yourselves a great day today. And if you do want to go and support the episode, make sure to drop a like down below. Of course, the support is greatly appreciated. And if we get 500 likes on today's episode, that'd be absolutely amazing. But either way, here we are on one island, I do believe, because today we need to go ahead and make our way all the way to wherever Moltres is. Mount Ember, that's what it's called. And then after that, I believe we're making our way to Viridian City to take on the final gym leader of this game. So that should be pretty exciting. Either way though, the team, you already know it's looking clean. Of course we have Gerald the Heracross here, level 44, uh, which by the way, we are probably going to be under leveled for Giovanni, but you gotta go big or go home sometimes. You gotta take risks. Of course, it's got Brick Break, Takedown, Endure, and a Horn Attack. Then, of course, we have Calypso, the Milotic here with Surf, Psychic, Hydro Pump, and Dragon Claw. Statue the Rhydon with Rock Blast, Slash, Meteor Mesh, and Fly. Saturn the Celebi with Psychic, Ancient Power, Recover, and Future Sight. And I have no idea when Celebi learns a Grass type move. Actually, I don't even know if it learns a Grass type move, but I really, really hope that we can get some sort of grass dab on this Pokemon before we go into the Elite Four. That would just be perfect. We also have Trident the Glalie with Ice Beam, Crunch, Headbutt, and Hail. And she's the Raichu with Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave, Thunder, and Quick Attack. So that's what the team is looking like. And you know what? Let's just go straight for it. I don't think uh, there's too many trainers on the way to Moltres. However, the reason why I didn't want to do any leveling up before we fight Giovanni is because the trainers that we would fight right about now aren't going to be like level 50, level 55, which is going to be around, you know, Giovanni's level. So I didn't want to be broken over leveled for these trainers. Hope that makes sense. Um, hopefully I made a good decision because being under leveled for the gym or being over leveled for the other trainers, I don't know. If, I don't know which one would be better. Probably the other way around, but we got a spray of repel here. There we go. All right, I'm not really trying to fight anyone. I'm not really trying to mess around too much on this island because we already explored like two and three island. Actually, there isn't really much to explore on two islands. <laughs> Three island, rather. Uh, but this area right here is where I would always, always grind in Fire Red Leaf Green with the Verse Seeker. Uh, because there's just four trainers, technically, right here that you could take on. I really don't want to fight these dudes, but I will if I have to. That always happens. Now we have to fight the other one, too. It's like a trick. I don't know how... Whoa, 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 whoa. Shh. Chill. I was not about to have Gerald go down like that. Not at all. And then I, I think we're forced to take on that dude, yeah. Wow, we actually just got duped. It was that easy. <laughs> Alright. I mean, the bright side is, is that, I mean, another reason why this is a good grinding spot is because there is the uh, healing place, like, literally right in front of this. I was gonna say the bright side, you know, on the bright side, we can go heal our Pokemon right after this, but I don't know, my thoughts are a bit jumbled. That's okay, though. Dude, can we wake up? Sleeping on the job, bro. We're not getting a pay raise that way. Jeez. Oh my god. That took way too long to kill a Noctowl with an Ice Beam. That should never happen. Ever. Uh, but I believe we can also get... What is it? Rock Smash in here? I can't remember. I know it's some sort of TM. Yeah, we got a heal and then... Hot springs go hand in hand with volcanoes. The Ember Spa here, well, I made it years ago. I healed the pool, wait, this dude made it? I miss that. Like every single time I've talked to this dude, I have never seen him say that, but I guess he created the spa. So hey, shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you. And I meant HM, not TM earlier. <laughs> I caught that, but I was just waiting to correct myself until homeboy was done talking. But we're back to the Kindle Road. And, wait, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to check something really quickly. Now that I think about it, does the Kindle Road split? It's one island. Treasure Beach. Oh, yeah, there's the area. We got to check that out because there's an encounter there. I always forget Treasure Beach is a place. Okay, hold on. I hope we can get an encounter there. I can't 100% remember, but we shall see. Either way, we'll definitely get a Mount Ember encounter, and then we should get, obviously, the Moltres, if we can catch it. That's alright. Alright, skirt, skirt, and yeah, here we are. And also, isn't there a dude that teaches explosion or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine if this volcano were to erupt? The explosion would be the end of us. How terrifying is that? Well, we're terrified. Would you like me to teach explosion? Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see what it actually is. Endure. It's kind of like the opposite of explosion, right? Like, 
Explosion kills you, and then Endure makes you live on one, so I don't know. Oh yeah, this is where, um, I don't know, a lot of you guys were talking about uh, how you wanted me to do the post-game uh, last episode, because I talked about it a lot. I'm probably not going to be doing it, uh, but some people ask, like, where exactly do you go on Mount Ember? This is where! The dudes are right here, so... There you go. Alright, but I think we have strength. I mean, we got the gold teeth, so there's no reason we shouldn't. Right! Right! Show me strength. Oh my gosh. I never gave him back. <laughs> Alright, well thankfully it actually doesn't take that long to get back, so... We're gonna do this real quick. Hold on. We're gonna take a bit of a detour. Um... Isn't this how you get to Treasure Beach? Yeah, okay, okay. Let's get this encounter. Ooh. I didn't know there was grass over here. Alright, so I gotta wait for this repel, and it's a Talo. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Wait, don't we have a Swallow? That's in this game, right? Where I use the Master Ball on a Swallow? I'm pretty sure that's this game, right? Yeah. It's a Chansey. Alright. I mean, I'll catch it. If it has a Lucky Egg, dude, oh, that would be nasty. Oh, I don't even have to Thunder Wave. Uh, but I kind of want to go for, um, here, let's just try an Ultra Ball or something. Let's just see if we can get lucky, I don't know. I know this Pokemon does have a, oh. Very low catch rate, but it doesn't matter, I guess. All right, what do I want to name this thing? Um. Mrs. Eggy, I feel like I kind of have to name it that. I feel like I just caught one in Black 2, White 2. It was a Blissey, and I didn't name it Mrs. Eggy. So you know what? I apologize for that. I definitely apologize. But there we go. We got Mrs. Eggy. Really hoping that it's holding a, uh, holding a Lucky Egg. That would be sick. You know what? Now that we're here, let's just do the easy way. Fly there. Fly there. Wait, no. I want to go back to Vermilion. You're crazy. Or can I not go back now until I talk to this dude? Dude, I'm just trying to get strength. I don't see why this is so difficult. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can go back to one island after, right? I'm just speeding this up, because I honestly don't care. I'm going to be so, so upset if, like, you can't go back. I'm pretty sure you can, because that'd just be dumb. All right, first things first. Let's go grab, or not grab the gold teeth. Let's go give this dude his gold teeth back. I don't know why you would ever want to steal gold teeth. That makes no sense. Also, how did this dude lose his dentures? In the safari zone. Why would you ever take them out in the safari zone? First off. <laughs> All right, here you go, bro. Take your teeth, take your teeth. I do not want them. Thanks, son, you're a real lifesaver. No one can understand a word that I said, not one. I was too ashamed to show my face around the office even. Let me give you something for your trouble. All right, well, there we go. We finally got strength. I mean, I guess it's good that we got it now rather than like stepping foot in the victory road and then being like, oh, we don't have the one HM that you actually need. All right, but let's teach this. Um, I'm gonna teach it to Gerald because Gerald has takedown. And you know, what? I'm gonna give it a horn attack though. Just because takedown gives you recoil, and if, like, let's say we're in a situation where we want to hit hard, but we don't want to take the recoil. That's the perfect, perfect move to go for right there, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so, let's grab this, because why not? Macho Brace. It's normally a rare candy, so that's a bit of a step down, honestly, but you know what? No complaints. So I believe we have to fly back to Vermilion if, um, yeah, if we want to go to one island. Cause I still want Moltres. There's nothing stopping me from trying to get this Pokemon. Give it a try fast. All right, yeah, one island. Here we go. Feels like I was just here. It feels like long time no see. One island. How you doing, Nurse Joy? You're looking great. It's been a long time. All right, back to the old grind. Now we just got a Max Repel. Look at that, we are on track now. We are on world record pace to catch Moltres. I'm just really hoping it's worth it. Like, if we got strength, came back, and it's a horsey, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna cry. I'm honestly going to tear up. It'll be the first time I ever cry, on, <laughs> cry mid-recording. I don't think that's happened before. I don't think I've had a reason to cry mid-recording. Like, I've had reasons to scream mid-recording. I've had reasons to yell. That's pretty much the same thing as screaming, but you get the point. Alright, I just don't think I've had to cry before. 
on seaweed hair lady. Let me pass. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now we can get past this pesky roadblock. <sighs> Seems like you'd just be able to jump right over, but you know what? Pokemon logic. There you go. I'll play by the rules today. All right. Don't challenge me. I don't even know why. Why did I say anything? I don't know, but I really don't want to get explosioned right now. Sap cannon. Just because I don't want it to self-destruct or anything, I'm not taking any risks. Not at all. See, look at that. We ate that up for breakfast. That was a snack. Honestly, maybe even appetizer. That wasn't even a snack. Jeez. It's so nice to have like a staple explosion self-destruct switch in because you just don't have to worry about it that much. It's perfect. And that's usually what I'm so scared about too. So you know what? Just a nice little, nice little change of pace. All right, uh, do I smash those? I have no idea. I don't, even, I don't even have it taught. That's a good thing about this game. You don't really have to teach a lot of the useless TMs. Like there's some like, you need cut once to get into like Lieutenant Surge's gym right. But after that, you don't really need it too much. Obviously you need strength late in the game, but I don't know. I can <gasps> Yo, <laughs> thank you. That's God tier. I really, really wish it was earlier in the game, but better late than never. Um, I mean, also it's kind of annoying because if I'm going to grind up for the Elite Four, I'm probably just going to use rare candies. I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, but maybe like midway through an episode, we could slap the Lucky Egg on and it'd be good. All right, it's not that way. I don't know what I'm doing. It's just I don't want to fight this dude, but I feel like you have to. Unfortunately. No, 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 no. That was a misclick, I swear. All right, we're fine. Never mind. That could have potentially been really bad. Okay. Let's try it in, let's go, yeah! Just destroying everything, I love it. All right, also, we haven't even gotten the encounter from Mount Ember. So, let me let this repel wear off real quick. Yo, I know I was talking about how I didn't want to find a horsey earlier, but I will take that. Let's go! All right. All right, first we gotta catch it though. I don't wanna get too excited. That should be perfect. Come on, stay in the Pokeball or the Ultra Ball. Whatever ball you want, honestly, Kingdra. You know what? If we catch this, I don't even care what Moltres is anymore. This already makes Mount Ember worth it. <laughs> but there we go. All right, what do I even name this? Um, let's name it... Um, I have no idea. Um, if it was a female, I'd just name it Claire and call it quits. That's like the easiest nickname in the world. Uh, let's name it uh, Agua. Agua was transferred to Bill's PC. Thank you, Bill. I really appreciate that. <laughs> I really wonder what Bill thinks when he sees like some of these Pokemon get transferred. Like he sees me catch a Talo, he sees me catch a Swallow. And he just sees this Kingdra, he's like, DAMN! Homie out here getting it! I don't know, maybe that's not how Bill talks. It, I feel like that'd be pretty funny if Bill talked like that, I don't know. Alright, but Moltres is right around the corner, literally. Alright, let's talk to this little firebird. Yeah! Oh no, there's a puzzle. If I mess this up, I'm gonna be so embarrassed. So embarrassed, but it's pretty easy, I think, right? Yeah! Alright, um, well here we go, we made it, uh, let's heal up fully, why not? And then I guess leading off with cheese is probably the best idea, because we can just thunder wave it right away. So you know what? I think we're good. I'm actually gonna take my headset off because I don't want to hear the cry, I want it to be a surprise. So, uh, here we go. Oh, <gasps> yo! Hot dude, I will take that. I will, I, <laughs> that is absolutely perfect. Should I just master ball it? We're not taking any risks today, fellas. There we go. We got ourselves a Mewtwo. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I have it randomized so that 
um, legendary static Pokemon will get randomized to other legendary Pokemon, just so it's fair, um, and we're not getting, like, Caterpies instead of legendaries, you know? Um, so if we want to... Well, I gotta figure out a nickname for this first. Um, jeez, what do I even call this? What did I name it in yellow? How do I not remember this? It was literally my starter. We gotta look it up. We gotta look it up. <laughs> it was my starter Pokemon, and I can't even remember its name. Alright, YouTube, come on, don't fail me, load. It's episode one, so... Dude, holy crap! Yellow was actually a long time ago. Jeez, I thought it... It seems a lot more recent than that. Yeah, but here it is. Okay. What is this Mewtwo's name? Let's check it out. Sorry I'm wasting a lot of time right now. I just... I, I don't want to nickname this thing something stupid if I don't have to. I named it Gummy. Okay, so that's even... That's... Arguably, you know, it's a bad nickname, honestly. But you know what? Sure, Gummy. We got Gummy the Mewtwo now. What was I thinking? Who knows? Who actually knows? Alright, well, that was definitely worth it. That was worth it in every single aspect. So you know what? Shout out to Moltres for once. <laughs> if Moltres has done anything, it was just it turned into a Mewtwo. Most productive thing. Alright, now we gotta get out of here. Make our way back to, uh... Well, I mean, this is still Kanto, so it's not back to Kanto, but... You know what I mean. Now we go straight to Viridian. And it's like, we just did a whole 360 throughout the entire region. I love that. You, Viridian's like the first town and you come full circle, come back for the 8th gym. Look at that. But we are here and we gotta check out these Pokemon. We gotta check out these new additions. Damn, so it doesn't have... Doesn't have a lucky egg, which would have been amazing. Um, quiet. Could be, could be worse. Um... Real talk, though. Let's check out homie right here! Another quiet nature. I mean, it's... I'm pretty sure quiet is... Yeah, yeah, it's plus special attacks. So you know what? I'll take that. Um, ass moveset. But we do have the psychic TM. Dude, I want to use this. I feel like it might be better to have on the team than Celebi. Because, if you think about it, we used Celebi last playthrough. And Celebi doesn't even have a grass stab, so you know what? We're making it. I'm making the swap here. I'm sorry. To, uh, I'm sorry to all the. Uh, how do I even? I can't even say this. <laughs> I'm sorry to all of the Celebi fans out there, but um, we're making a quick little swap, and I think that's a. It's a step in the right direction, I do believe. So before we step foot in Giovanni's gym, I want to go ahead and cash out on a few TMs and really just Psychic. Like, that's the only one I actually care about. Uh, but I can't remember exactly what is here, so if there's something better, then sure, I'll cop that too, but... Harden. Definitely Harden. Best TM in the game. Oh yeah, apparently, um, Blaine gave me Metal Claw last episode and I didn't notice that, so thank you to whoever pointed that out. Alright, Gummy, um... I can see Barrier maybe being useful, but I can never see myself going for Mist, so... We'll just get rid of that. Um... Honestly, I feel like just loading this thing with special moves is probably our best bet. Uh, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm gonna give it Surf. Uh, what else? Any more special moves? I don't think so. I mean, Outrage, but... I don't really want to lock myself in. That's probably good for now. All right, well, now we're going back to Viridian City. We are finally, finally doing what I said we were gonna do like 10 minutes ago, it's fine though. All right, and um, I believe you only have to take on like one or two trainers in Giovanni's gym. And if, you know, that's the case, I'm down. I don't wanna take on every single trainer, but you know, I'll fight some if we have to. Uh, I believe if you go right here though, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, maybe it's not right there. Maybe it's right here. Yeah, yeah, and then you talk to homeboy. All right, I know how to do it. All right, so let's see if we can at least handle ourselves against these gym Pokemon. And if something happens and we're just getting destroyed, maybe we'll hold off um, on taking on taking on homeboy today because I'm not trying to go into this fight under leveled and with less Pokemon than six essentially. So. If it's going bad, we are definitely not doing this today. 
Uh, but you know what? If they're level 42, we should be good to like fight these two trainers before we take on Giovanni. So I am not too worried. There we go. Oh, I was kind of hoping that you didn't have five Pokemon. I really wish we didn't have to take on this dude. Jeez. It's not even going to be worth it. Alright, but let me just get some experience on this boy real quick. Look at that! It just kills everything! Ah! It's all dying! Oh my god! I feel bad! <laughs> Yo! Everything on the field just got melted! Holy crap! That's a little nasty. Yo, I don't really know if I want to go catch the other legendaries. This is a little bit broken. Also, even if we did go catch them, we'd only have them for like one or two episodes, so it wouldn't really matter. And I also don't want to flood my team with legendaries before the Elite Four. I think I only want like one max on my team. And Mewtwo's probably the best legendary that we're going to get like in this game. So there's not really a point in going for the other legendaries to see what they are, because that's just... There's not really a point. That's all that. That's what I'm trying to say. So I don't think we're gonna be doing that. And also, yeah, we're definitely not doing post game. I know what. Uh, I know I already said that earlier, but might as well just say it again. Um, and I do apologize, but I just want to move on to the next project uh, before summer's over because I honestly cannot wait to start it. It's gonna be great, and I'll start teasing it within the next couple episodes. But we're here in front of the homeboy. I'm ready, man. I am actually ready. I something tells me I should just lead off with gummy, but I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna only use Gummy in sticky situations if we absolutely have to, just because it's so broken. But here we go. Fwa ha ha ha. Welcome to my hideout. Uh, it shall be so. Wait. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket. That sentence didn't make sense for a second, but I was reading it correct. To its former glory, but you have found me again, so be it. This time I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Well, okay then. Okay then, my good sir. We got five mons. Oh no. Alright, I'm going to Mewtwo. This is definitely a sticky situation. You got me absolutely messed. <laughs> if you if you don't think this is a sticky situation. Honestly, I don't even feel bad about using Mewtwo because they're level 50. It's the same exact level. Maybe I'll remove that rule. That sticky situation rule, because I don't know. Maybe this is our best bet. All right, first Mon down. Who's coming in? Cleffa? De I definitely need Mewtwo for this Pokemon. I definitely need to stay in and just keep spamming Psychics because that is top tier threat right there. All right, that's definitely gonna kill. I do not care. Bye bye. Have a good time. All right, bring out that next Mon, Giovanni. Come on. What's up? What's up? Hustle? Oh no. I'm trembling! Actually, if it was a Minin, I'd be even more scared, because now I know what Minin can do. Minin, ooh, excuse me, Linus. Linus got the power. Very shocking. Ooh, the unintentional puns, love it. All right, Brick Break. Easy. Absolutely clapped. Roselia, uh, I was just gonna try to, I could go to Gummy, but I don't know. That's like insult to in or salt in the wound. Insult to injury, yeah. Same thing, pretty much. I mean, honestly, I will, <laughs> I'll let trainers send out Pokemon and I can one-shot them all day, sure. But like, it's not that fun though. We're like, unintentionally under level too. This dude is still not bringing the power. Doug Trio. Uh, let's go to Calypso. Get everyone some action in this battle. All right, I really don't want to jinx this, so part of me doesn't want to say what I'm about to say, but I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I don't care that you broke your elbow. No, I was about to say I cannot believe that my Lodic or my Lodic, excuse me, sorry, has actually lasted this long. If it died right there, I would have, I would, I don't know what I would have done. If that was like a crit or something and it just immediately got wiped out as soon as I said that, I would have, I would have bawled laughing. But yeah, honestly. Our starter Pokemon has lasted all the way to the 8th gym so far, so there's not many playthroughs I've done where, like, a starter has lasted all the way to the end, so... I don't know, I mean, I'd be down for it to happen in this playthrough for sure. Hell yeah. I'll take Calypso all the way to the end. 
Ha! That was a truly intense fight. You have won. As proof, here is the Earth Badge. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. All eight gym badges in the Kanto region. Hey, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey without question. Uh, it is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. Also, take this TM. Consider it as a gift for your Pokemon League challenge. And there we go. I just really hope it's actually Earthquake. Because that is such a tease. Oh, see you, dude. It's such a tease. He's like, yeah, dude, it's Earthquake. And then you get it, and it's... Guillotine. Nice. I mean, could be worse. Obviously, if I go for Guillotine, I am never going to hit it, so there's not even a point in teaching it to anyone. There's honestly not even a point of me having it. I should just sell it or delete it right now. But we won't. We'll keep it around. And hold on. Hold the absolute phone. Or the actual phone. We have not got an encounter here. I just realized that. Yo, it's time. We're about to get this level 2 encounter right now. Do I have a repel on? Hold on. You teach... Teach a move, right? Pale. Interesting. Can I just get an encounter, though? Real talk? Do I have a repel on? I don't know. Let's just try the, the rod, then. I don't know. I just want to try and get, like... I don't know. Maybe it'll be something that we can evolve or something. I don't know. It's a Pidgeot! Okay! <laughs> I mean, I'll chuck a ball at it, sure. I'll chuck a couple balls at it. It's stubborn. You are level nine. Chill. Come on, bro. I I'm running. I don't even care. See ya, dude. I was just astonished. I couldn't even think of words to say. That Pidgeot did not want to stay in the ball. All right, um, I'm just double checking. I did have a Swellow. Yeah, Master Ball Swellow Overlord. <laughs> what a great nickname. All right, well, on that note, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode right there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. Of course, the support is greatly appreciated. Next time, we're gonna be making our way through the Victory Road and possibly uh, be taking on the Elite Force. That is rather exciting. Uh, but yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.